Well, Simon, job done. Third place secured on the final day of the season. But what was your assessment of your team's performance today? Um, I thought it was uh, really solid. I think, um, obviously, um, I felt this game was going to be tough. A really um, emotional day for, for Yeovil for, for obvious reasons. And, you know, I knew they'd want to give a, a really good account of themselves and, you know, give their fans something to be proud of. And also, you know, given the sad circumstances that have took place for them. So I was expecting a difficult game. We've got a difficult game. You know, they've took points off some of the bigger sides here this year, three points. Um, and I thought we, we stood up to it. And I thought um, it's um, psychologically, we've probably got a lot more pressure on us, but we have. And uh, we got in front deservedly. Um, and I think we were really solid and resolute and the mission was a clean sheet and we delivered that. It was it a bit of a strange situation today? Obviously, so much pressure riding on, on the result. Did it almost feel, in a way, like a quarter-final today in terms of what was at stake with a win? Yeah, I mean, look for us, we had to win. You know, it was it was quite clear cut, really. If um, the point wasn't going to do much for us elsewhere, you know, so we, we had to try and win the game. Um, so it was quite clear in terms of what our objective was, and um, you know, really pleased that we've delivered that because you know that was. Um, there was some moments we really had to dig in hard, normal stuff, normal stuff, you know, professional football, um, and, and we stepped up to it, so pleased with that. But talk us through the, the decisive moment in the game, it's probably not one of John's most spectacular goals of the season, but is that his, his biggest? Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's an important one, isn't it? It's come an important time. Um, so yeah, I can see why we would, we would place a lot of significance on it, but I, I felt we had enough big moments in the game to get goals, you know, I've you know, questioned some of the decision making at, at key moments, but look, I don't want to be too critical of their moments right now because you know, I think the players have just did absolutely everything today. The squad does, you know, and, and that, that's a squad win today, so excellent. Well, you, you talked about the squad, I mean, you made two changes today. Great to see Harry Cardwell back from injury, obviously, but Jordan Keane as well making his first start since March. What was the thinking behind that and, and what was your assessment of his performance today? Well, I felt um, we, we needed a solid base. Not that we haven't had a solid base in recent weeks and perhaps the type of changes um, and the flexibility I'd want, possibly from the bench, probably influenced my starting lineup today. Um, and, and Keno, you know, pleased for him to come in, solid performance, part of a really solid team today. And I have no doubts, you know, about Keno stepping in there and, and being part of what we're doing. He's trained well all season. Um, and really the strength of, I feel, our, our squad this year um, has also been the lads that haven't been playing regularly. You know, their commitment to the training sessions when you're not involved, because it's difficult. And, um, you know, they've really valued that this year. And, and that, makes, um, that make, makes life a lot easier for me and my staff. So, you know, Keno's good representation of that. Obviously, lots of permutations and ifs and buts to come, but the bottom line is now you are just two wins away from Football League. How does that feel for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we say it's just two wins, but I think I'll be the same as all the managers right now. You, you'll view that as two massive tasks. So, um, what I think we can do, we can, um, we can regroup, we can enjoy the fact we secured third place tonight. Um, and then we can look at what lies ahead. So, of course, it's, it's great for me, it's great for the players. Uh, and I'm really pleased as well that that third place, we, it allows our, our supporters to come and be part of you know, a really special day and a really special game. Um, and, and we're pleased as a group that we, we've delivered on that one for them. Uh, another benefit of the top three finishes, you have that, that extra week now to prepare for the semi-final. What, what are the preparations going to look like now over the next two weeks for you? Uh, you, you rejig the schedule a little bit. Um, you know, it's, there'll be no nothing too drastic. I believe in in what what we do and what I do, and I believe in the players. So, you know, we'll approach the next two games like we approach all of the games. That they're all massively important, and um, you know, the professional element of us. There'll be a fairly consistent theme in how we prepare. Just you know, physically, you, you've got to slightly rejig your schedule, but you know, it's certainly I'm not going to view it as a negative. Hartlepool v Bromley next Sunday. Will you be watching? And, and do you have a preference as to who you want to see in the semi-final? Uh, no, no preferences. Simon, thank you for your time today. Pleasure. Cheers.